smells like the mall. All right, <laughs> now we're gonna do uh, now we're gonna do trend equations for the forecast. Um, gonna differ from the book in a way that I'm just gonna use the typical trend line that you learned in Algebra One back in high school, where m is your slope. Um, B is your y-intercept, or where it crosses the y-axis. Um, X, in this case, is the x-axis, but it's, we're doing time series, so it represents time. And the y in this equation is actually our forecasted demand. What we're going to do is, people have always learned that the slope is the rise over the run. Um, but of course it isn't so easy. We're going to use the real equation for it, which is the summation of our x and our y's, <clears throat> minus the number of uh, periods we go through times what's called x bar times y bar. And all x and y bar are your averages of your x and your y's average. Um, from that, we're going to do the summations of our x squared uh, minus our n times our x bar squared. So that's the same as the rise over the run, only in statistical form. Okay, the next thing we do when we're doing the trend forecast is calculate our x times our y. <coughs> we're using x if we were looking at our x-axis as our time. And our y-axis is our actual demand there. So, my x times my y would just be my 1 times my 110, which everybody knows is 110. And x squared is simple enough. It's 1 squared, which equals 1. And we just keep going right down the list that way. Uh, 2 times 165 is 330. 2 squared is 4. I'll do one more. Uh, so we have well, 150 times 3 is 450. 3 squared is 9. We just keep going down uh, the list that way. <clears throat> when we get to the bottom, we do the summations. Uh, so the summations um, of my complete list here of my xy is 1,000. 17,279. Uh, the summation of my x squared is 385. The summations of my weeks is 55. And the summations of my y's will be 2,611. All right, I just filled in the rest of the chart, uh, but now we can start calculating values. The first values we need uh, to plug into our slope equations are our x by bar and our y bar. Um, all x and y, x bar and y bar are, are our average of our sum of our x's and the sum of our y's. <clears throat> so we had 50. 55 is the sum of our, our weeks. We went for 10 weeks. Our average is 5.5. Uh, we do the same thing for y. 2611 is our summation. We went for 10 weeks. Our average is 261.1. Now we just plug the numbers <clears throat> uh, right in. Um, we have the summation of our x and our y's 
or 17,279. From that, we went for 10 weeks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So n is our 10. Our x bar is 5.5. Our y bar is 261.1. All right, so that's our nominator. In our denominator, we take the sums of our x squared, which is 385. <clears throat> uh, we subtract from that our n times our uh, x bar squared, so 55 squared. Oops, 5.5 squared, sorry about that. And we do that out, all out, and we get a slip slope of 35.37. All right, so, so far we've, uh, we have our slope. Now we need to know our, our, uh, our B. Um, so that simply we take our Y bar, subtract it from the slope times our X bar, uh, which comes out to 66.5. So now we have the equation, we have our slope, we have our intercept, where this line, so this is my, um, is actually my B right here is my intercept where it's crossing the demand axis. The M gives me the slope of that line. <clears throat> now, we can put in any period we want in the future, like if we want the next week, which is week 11, we can substitute that into the x in this equation. If we wanted a forecast for week 13, we could put week 13 into the equation. One of the things that I did, just to prove the forecast out, is I went back in and I did the forecast for each one of these weeks. So, um, I put like week one in for my equation there, and this came out to roughly 102. Um, this one came out to 137, 172, uh, 208, 243. And as you can see, my forecast is roughly tracking what actually happened. All right, so all I did is, just for demonstration purposes, we figured out our equation, we figured out our M, we figured out our B. Again, the M is the slope of our line, the B is our intercept over the demand axis here. Um, our X is simply one, two, three, four, five, going down. And we can see how this tracks our forecast. I did out a fancy little chart here, hopefully that comes out okay. The straight line is the linear forecast, um, the up and downs is our actual data.